Welcome everybody, Double Tap here, and today I bring you guys the Ultimate Prison Architect Tutorial Part 3. I do apologize again for the long wait, we are in the middle of a move over here on my end, so things are a little bit hectic, but good news is I have received my PlayStation 5 on the second day it came out, so I do plan on releasing a lot of PlayStation 5 content in the future. Do stay tuned for Cyberpunk 2077 tomorrow at midnight. I am planning on live streaming that, so if you guys are interested in seeing any live streams of that, do stay tuned to this channel because I will be posting a lot of ps5 content for that so without any further ado let's get into this prison architect and get back to where we left off so yeah the last thing we were doing was expanding this prison out you can see that we have a total of 51 cells now so we have completed that we will eventually increase this prison population here as well to match that but first things first we just got to finish up a few things here and clear up these cells because you know how I am, I don't like to have all of this mess around my prison. It bothers me greatly. So we're going to go ahead and just get rid of all this extra nonsense around our prison. Especially because I have a storage system built up, I am kind of confused with why they don't immediately just move any excess into our storage, but... If you guys have any uh, clear answers for that, just drop that down in the comments below. That would be extremely helpful as far as all of us go, because I'm sure I'm not the only one that runs into this issue of having stacks just left behind when everything is actually built up. So it is annoying. But uh, yeah, if you guys have any tips on how to take care of that other than just dumping it, do let me know and everybody else know as well in the comments below. You guys are great with that. I learned a lot of these little moves and tricks from you guys, so I appreciate that. Best community ever when I stand behind it. Get rid of all these boxes that are conveniently left in the identical places along all these cells. And when I say conveniently placed there, I am being sarcastic for sure. Clear these out. You can see right there with the exclamation mark right next to our day that our temperament is actually really good within this prison. It says it's going down. So that means everybody is extremely happy with the way things are going. It's very neutral right now. So we shouldn't have to worry about too much gang violence or anything along those lines happening right now in this prison. So that's good news. That means everything that we've built up to this point has been extremely successful. And this is a type of prison that you might want to mimic here for sure. Now, because I know we are going to be increasing the amount of prisoners that we have, we're going to need more food actually made during chow time. So I am going to go ahead and add some extra cooks there. And we're going to add some extra guards here as well to take care of the overpopulation that we're about to have. So no matter how many guards we have, we only have so many guards per inmates at the end of the day. So there's always going to be more inmates than guards, of course, or else it would just economically not work out there'd be way too much money spent on guards here so the reality of it is here is the guards are going to have their handful but we don't want to have their hands too full so as you guys increase your population levels make sure that you're increasing the actual amount of guards and cooks and all of those things as well so try to stay on top of it as best as you can because obviously the demand gets larger with the larger number of prisoners so All right, add some extra cell phones, or cell phones, excuse me, add some extra pay phones. I grew up when pay phones were still a thing and very commonly used. I used a lot of those growing up, but yeah, pay phones, those are a thing of the past now. 
That's why it didn't even roll off the tongue easy. Cell phones, the very first thing that comes to my mind. But in prison, they are still grateful for the classic good old payphone. Reverse those charges. <laughs> All right, so because I'm looking at the situation that we have here with our guards always having to run back and forth between these doors, I'm realizing we need to get some patrols going here. Uh, I don't actually have it unlocked right here, and my dumbass is about to realize, oh yeah, we have to continue actually unlocking that in order to get the deploying. But uh, yeah, despite that, my intentions were in the right spot because I know that we need to get some patrols going here so that I can actually tell these guards where they need to patrol so that we have not only security but access to restricted areas as far as the guards. So I always like to place at least a guard where I know there's high traffic entrances but there's a jail door there because obviously guards are the only ones who are going to be able to access that. So I always at least place one guard with every major door access. That way they're able to open the doors regularly and it doesn't require guards that are busy doing other things to come open those doors. So it is a really handy tool to use the patrol for that purpose as well, other than just security purposes. So we're gonna go ahead and let patrols unlock and then we will try to add some patrols in here. And now that that tree is gone, my OCD can relax and we can set the final phone there that I planned on doing from the very get-go. And finally, adding the doors in between the canteen and the kitchen here because I'm realizing that these poor bastards are having to go and request for the door to be open every single time. So I promised you guys last episode I'd add those doors in. And finally, three episodes in, we do get those doors in, but hey, better late than never. So now you can see that our cooks are able to navigate in between the canteen and the kitchen really easily to not only bring food in there but when they're done eating bring dishes back etc so now they can actually use their workspace properly and efficiently and this will actually speed the process up too and allow you to have the minimum required chefs possible because they can actually move quickly but if you have them going through those doors you're eating up and wasting time unnecessarily so Definitely add doors in between your canteen and your kitchen and always place them next to each other for that exact reason. They are kind of hand in hand when it comes down to it. They, they work together in unison. drop off some new prisoners there sometimes if you're really busy making expansions and stuff you'll you won't notice that you're having some prisoners leave their release date is coming up so do keep in mind whenever they end up releasing prisoners the next day if you have it set to the specific number of prisoners that you want in your prisoner or in your prison sorry the next day they will bring back the population up to that level so if you have one or two prisoners for instance leave one day the next day they'll bring two new prisoners in if you have the set capacity to a specific number so finally now that we have our patrols unlocked i am going to set some patrols down as you can see i'm setting some patrols down right next to high access areas right there for our canteen for our yard and for our entrance in in and out of our actual main cell block area i'm going to have some patrols there so again some of these are for actual security purposes for instance the one going up and down our complete 
cell block and along the top there those are for security but the ones by the doors are for ease of access and security so they're kind of killing two birds with one stone but patrols are very important for that exact reason you see you could just drag a patrol line and then all you have to do is assign an officer it's very very simple and it is extremely handy and as you can see right away here during their yard time look at how easy it is for them to get access because i set the guard to patrol this area so now they have easy access whenever they need to get to the yard a guard will be waiting there to allow them to go in and out so very very handy make sure to use those patrols once you get them unlocked big part of the game chow time for our medium security prisoners there they're getting it in and you can see our chefs hard at work bouncing in between the kitchen and the canteen and as soon as they all leave now you can see them grabbing up their dishes and preparing for the next batch so they're washing some dishes here and they're getting ready to get to work again so entertaining even at this speed i love watching them work and i just love this game so so much Love playing God. <laughs> I felt the need for some extra cooks here just because things were getting a little bit hectic there. So this is one of those things you want to play by ear. Uh, if your supply and your demand seems that it's not matching, then just increase. Go ahead and make sure that the needs are being filled. so far on that needs list you can see everything is pretty tame and even across the board so that is very very good news the staff room as well you'll notice right below our reception is being used by guards and cooks alike so it's very important to have a staff room where they can go rest up so that they can actually continue their job at peak performance All our chefs busy busy at work there cleaning up preparing for the next day it's a never-ending battle and here guys don't worry about that little switch over it was just because I'd finished playing that day and this is a continuation so it's the exact continuation from where we were before so don't worry about it exactly where we were at I just had to do a little switch because we continued playing there so I was just cutting out all the loading in for you guys and whatnot here I'm just dismantling all these trees here because I'm preparing for a little bit of a change of our prison what I realized is I do like the idea of our prison surrounding our prison yard but what I don't like is this shape that we have going right now so what I'm gonna do is instead of having this rectangular prison yard I'm gonna cut it down into more of a square and wrap our building around that so that there's multiple entrances to the yard depending which way you're coming from our building that's kind of what I'm envisioning here so what I'm gonna do is just clear out some of these trees so that I can move over our phones that we added in there and you could see that we're gonna end up placing those phones over into the new yard and expanding this building out to use our actual main cell block building there to use a good chunk of this yard because I just feel like this yard is a little bit unnecessary plus I just don't like the way it looks with the building so we're gonna go ahead and make this a rectangle here and eat this up with our building and then you can notice that the new yard that will be placed there is gonna be more of a square and we'll be able to wrap our prison around it so that's the goal in the vision now you guys will be able to see it come to fruition over the next few episodes but I'm just giving you guys a little bit of a heads up so I'm gonna go ahead and double click there and drag these phones over because we know where the new building is going to be placed thanks for the planning tool of course because we always utilize that in our builds so now we know exactly where the new phone booths are supposed to be so we're gonna go ahead and move those Put our minions to work
same thing with the lights along this fence line because my whole goal here is to once everything's moved over all we'll have to do is just straight up delete our fence lines and bring in a new portion of the building so that's the goal again because we put an overall fence line around our entire building i don't need to worry about deleting this fence and having any possibility escape because that's just not going to happen because we know there's a fence line surrounding even if i do have to delete some of this immediate fence around our yard so this is the good news but i am kind of conscious of the fact that it's during the day right now and there's a lot of prisoners going in and out so i'm kind of strategically waiting to place it here a little bit until they are actually locked up in their cells later on so now part of the reason that i'm making this expansion here it's not just to add cells you'll notice that one of the ticks there for our grants is that we need to have a common room with some pool tables so what i'm going to do is use the lower portion of this new expanded part of our building here and create a common room for all these cells to use and then the common room will allow access to the new yard that we're going to switch up and build there so that's the goal here that's why i'm doing this i'm going to actually take advantage of the new area here to use partially for cells and partially for the common room so that we can increase the morale of this prison a little bit you'll notice that if we look back at our attention bar next to our days that it is raising a little bit so some needs aren't being met but you'll notice with the school the yard and everything if we just increase our yard a little bit create a common room we're gonna have the energy go back up in this prison and the morale should boost right back up so what we're tackling in this episode should help keep everybody calm as well so it, all the way around it works out very very nicely for us we're going to get our grants crushed off and we're going to keep the morale of our overall prisoners at a high level so things are going to work out here you always got to have the vision to see into the future here with a game like this And we're going to go ahead and demolish this fence line now that we have taken down that door and moved everything over. Nothing is going to be in our way of building this new expansion out. So you'll see there I deleted the fence line and they used the door there. So it, there's no escape, but at the same time, it is still better to wait for them to be in their cells like this. Now we know it's sleep time. So over the next six hours or so, I have time to make some expansions here and it's not going to take even a fraction of that time to build this up. So I'm going to go ahead and drag that out. Now, as you guys know from the previous episodes, I drag it on the outside of the exterior walls, not over the walls that are already there or else it would actually delete the walls once this new portion is built so drag it on the outside of the walls that are currently there if you want to keep those and it will automatically mesh into one building when it's said and done so do keep that in mind i do repeat that tip a lot but it's really really handy when you're actually trying to expand onto something that the old walls don't get deleted because as you can see we're using those walls for cells so we don't want those walls to disappear All right, and there you have it. The new expansion is built up and we're automatically gonna bring some utilities, get some electricity coming down through here. So it starts to light up and look like a new building there. We're gonna go right away here, find the yard and remove the portion of the yard that's in our building because obviously that is no longer a yard area. So we're going to go ahead and right click, drag, create the square and remove that yard there. Now we're going to double click the door, drag it over to this new exterior wall here so that they have access to the yard there. There we go, let there be light. 
Okay, now they finally moved the door over and they have access to their yard again so that's convenient and now we can actually use this area here to start building out so again we're going to use the planning tool as always you guys know the drill and i'm going to bring down a certain amount of cells here we are going to expand out on our cells a little bit because we certainly don't need a common room this large so i'm going to go ahead and use a good chunk of this for cells and i think i go about one or two more down here yeah, one more. There you go. And this is this is exactly where I'm going to leave it as far as cells. So we're going to go ahead and finish the right side. Perfect. And then that bottom rectangle area right there that you see will be our new common room. So this new expansion killed two birds here. We got some new cells and we also get our common room crushed off. So very very handy we're gonna go ahead and just clean up some of these walls now with the new build take out unnecessary walls there we go clean it up a little bit also allow access from the previous expansion into this new expansion so as you guys can see now what i'll do is just leave this square yard here if we have to create it a little bit bigger out to the left we will but what we can do now is just start to wrap this prison around the yard so no matter whether you're coming from the right side the top or the left side you're going to be able to get access to the yard in the center so so far i like this build and i think it's going to work out really well I also think it looks a little less awkward with this new design here, so that's good news as well. It, it's a lot more easy on the eyes to me, so there you go. Now we have our common room built here at the bottom. That's all that's required, to be honest, is just an inside space, but obviously it's requesting that we drop some pool tables in there. So for now, we'll do the bare minimum. We'll drop a few pool tables in, but later on we might add a few more things to spruce it up a little bit, but we'll see. We'll, go, we'll, we'll start with this and... And if we have to add some things later on to make them a little bit happier, we can. But at least we have the common room there and it's actually something that we can build upon. And you'll notice again at our attention meter next to our days, it is going down immediately after building the common room. People are happier and you can see that our prisoners are already coming in to use the pool table. So this is good news. Again, I told you guys that even though people were getting a little bit heated and getting up there, if we just add a few things in to make them a little bit happier, you can have the heat level in the prison drop right back down and everybody calm back down. So this is the whole goal is to keep them calm for as long as they need to be here and let them hit the streets so that we make our money and hopefully everybody gets home alive. But now that we finished that grant off, we have access to two more grants here. And you'll actually notice that some of these I've already completed, just like that one. And instantly I get that cash given to me because, again, just playing the game, we're knocking off grants that we didn't even select yet. So, so handy. Always go through these grants list and make sure that there aren't some that you already finished. And if that's the case then bring in the grants that you have in and start working on expanding out to those new those new goals so that's exactly what we're going to do here we selected the ones we already completed took that money and now we're taking our grant advances on these new grants as well so we have a good chunk of money here to actually expand these cells out and do what we were planning here with our planning tool so I'm going to go ahead and use this top area here. There's room for some extra cells, so why not use those? So that's what we're going to do is we're going to go add in some up top there as well. And we're going to add these new cells in the new expansion as well. I get really annoyed here with the way I'm flipping the doors. Don't mind me. This was just, a, I had a moment here during this next little stage here, but I'm gonna leave it in because it, it didn't take too long, so. But anyways, make sure that you have your doors rotated to the right spots. Also make sure that you're placing them in the right spots because you'll notice here that I was like, oops, not this place that I'm supposed to be dropping these. So anyways, I digress. We'll get this fixed up, get it cleaned up. 
but this is actually a tip that one of you guys gave me down below in the comments again i do listen i do read and i do use these somebody mentioned that if i drop the doors in before i start dragging down the walls i could save 50 dollars per wall because think about it every square costs 50 dollars per concrete but if you already have a door there you're not going to be placing the concrete there so set your doors in first where your planning is and then you could drag down your walls afterwards to fill out the walls to where the door isn't and then you actually get to save a few hundred dollars per line of cells right because the 50 dollars adds up pretty quick so right there we're likely saving you know i don't know exactly how many cells there but we're saving at least four or five hundred dollars so it, it is a really handy tip and it is useful so make sure that you drop those cell doors in before you start dragging the walls down and then you can actually save yourself a little bit of cash flow there and it is a very handy tip so thank you to whoever mentioned that down below shout outs to you now that i figured out what i was doing wrong and i'm over the confusion you know it happens it happens to the best of us don't judge me we are going to go ahead and continue and set those those doors in all right now you take the wall and you'll notice you drag it down and it's red where the doors are that's meaning that we actually get to save that money and they're not placing down blocks there so very very handy i recommend you all use that little tip as well because after all this entire game is a game of budgeting and managing money so if you can save some throughout your entire prison think about if i was doing that through the entire prison up to these 51 cells i would have saved a good chunk of money right so again though better late than never so we're gonna go ahead and use that technique from now on in our builds do the same thing up here drop those doors in and now we can start dragging out our concrete walls All right, and it's starting to look like a prison again. So now that we have all our individual cells built out, you guys know the drill. We're gonna be adding in our utilities first, bring it down the walls, our major pipes, and we're gonna be using our small pipes just to drag them out to our individual utilities there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Same thing with the ones up top here. Now, you guys will notice that uh, they are going to have to unlock every single one of these doors every single time one of our workers shows up or wants to leave the cell so that is just not something we can have so go through and lock open all the doors that you're currently building in the cells because it's just going to save your workers and you a lot of time because they'll be able to finish the cells quicker so time is of the essence here pause the game lock open all these doors and allow your workers to do their job and get the hell out of there so that we can actually use these cells for prisoners so that is a very handy tool in this game because they automatically lock them as if prisoners are in there even though nobody's using the cell so i kind of think it's a little bit ridiculous but it's part of the game so go ahead and lock open any doors that you are actually currently building in and now you'll immediately see that they have a lot easier access to going in and just finishing up these cells they're just whipping in between and not only that our guards no longer have to be involved in this situation at all so that's good news as well I'm gonna 
drop our drains. drains and now our shower heads love having the individual showers in the cells so much less drama and it's one less spot that you have all your prisoners together so it just minimizes things so much better it's such a handy handy idea i had no idea we were actually able to do that in the game until one of you guys again in the comments let me know and I took that advice and ran with it because I love this and I don't think I would ever build it any other way. I don't think I would do an overall shower and ever again. This is much, much handier and it just makes a lot more sense. More realistic to me. Granted, I can also see how it costs a lot of money though, but for instance, if you just had one shower block and you were rotating out the prisoners to when they actually let's say you had one shower block and you were rotating prisoners out into when they were actually able to use those in turns then it would make a lot more sense beds down working hard this was quite a big expansion here it cost a lot of money too but this is the handy thing about making a lot of money is you can actually make these expansions happen and as you guys know the more prisoners you bring in the more money you make daily so we're about to see a good daily uh spike in our fun so that's good news as well once our intake is actually increased here you'll notice there we haven't had any deaths or any escapes so that's good news and now that we actually have these built up the final stage or technically the, the first stage if you want to do that properly but drag in the actual cell names here so that it's actually being used as a cell. Again, the stress level in our prison is at zero right now. If you look at our little attention meter next to our day, it hasn't moved at all. So this is great news. This means that our prison is operating at a top level right now and everybody's getting exactly what they need. So this is exactly what we want to be seeing. And it means that we're making the right steps. Also, you'll notice our solitary cells are hardly being used at all, which means that our prisoners aren't really getting into too much trouble, which is also a good sign. So now that our cells are all built up and they're completely ready to go, we're going to go ahead and take the lock door open off and allow these doors to actually close up. what I did right here guys I think because I didn't actually have the cell room name dropped in those units that's why they were locking the doors if you notice now that the doors are automatically 
unlocked because there's no actual prisoners occupying those cells so okay we just learned something together live on the video game basically if you actually drag the cell name over those cells it'll automatically lock the door open until there's an actual prisoner using that cell so go ahead and drag those cell names in your cells first like i said you should have done after i realized it and now we can actually see that it would have saved us that whole lock the door open step completely but hey i'm not perfect at the game so we'll learn together as we go on some things but that's really handy to know even for me that'll save a lot of time because it it is an annoying process having to go through and click each individual door it makes no sense having these cells locked when they're unoccupied but anyways the game has already thought about that it was me who wasn't thinking clearly <laughs> So one last thing I think we're going to add in here to help the morale of our prisoners overall is we're going to add some weights in finally. I normally do this earlier, but again, better late than never in everybody. Everything's been running so smooth. Everybody's been so happy, quote unquote, in here that we haven't even really needed this. So this is just getting a little bit even more ahead of the curb and this should help out with the overall morale quite a bit of our prisoners. So now when they're on yard time, they can not only call home they could get some weights in so that'll help out a lot but you know what guys i actually think that with all this expanding and everything that we've done as far as adding all kinds of new cells in cleaning up our prison overall aesthetically just a little bit adding a common room in this is a perfect spot to end this ne next episode honestly i think that from here on out there's going to be a whole another large build possibly happening so that's going to be saved for a new episode guys i do want to thank you guys for joining me during this i apologize again for the long wait there's a lot going on over here but once i get into the new place i'm going to have a gaming room and everything's going to be a lot easier for me to actually create content for you guys so that's the good news and i'm really looking forward to it so Without any further ado, guys, I appreciate each and every single one of you guys. If you like content like this and you appreciate it, please do hit that like button. Drop a comment below. And most importantly, please do hit that subscribe button. It helps me build this channel up and it lets me know that you guys want more content like this. So until next time, this is Double Tap out.